Nathan Rogers here with MMA Future. Uh, my name is Gabriel James. Uh, I uh, back in Omaha, I would train out at the Huff House with uh, Scott Huff, and then right now for the past uh, three, yep, three three and a half weeks, I've been training out in Denver with Team Elevation, and uh, yeah, coming back tomorrow. Sorry about that, man. The audio's been cutting out on my phone for some reason. Oh, it was all good. Um, so tell me a little bit about your background. How did you get into MMA in the first place? Me, um, I've been grappling, or I guess I've been growing up doing it. Like, I started off, you know, karate, whatever, and then once I turned 11, I started doing jiu-jitsu and uh, started doing wrestling, judo, all the grappling arts, you know, and then all was, and then, you know, woke up and I was like, I guess the next step was you know, putting all together with uh, striking. Right, man. Well, uh, taking a short notice fight, I mean, you're taking this on about a week, a little bit over a week's notice. Um, tell me a little bit about the thought process of deciding to take a, a fight on a short notice and, uh, you know, how you feel walking in? I mean, um, uh, I was supposed to fight in, like, December, so I was already training and everything. And then, and then he pulled out, and then I got this guy. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it being a, a short nose fight. I train year long, year round, you know. And uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, he's just another guy. I, I don't think, uh, as long as I show up and I do my thing, I, I don't think there's any, any issue in there it being like a short notice, you know, any disadvantage. Um, obviously, you know, you have had a real opportunity to train specifically for this fight. What have you been doing especially to get ready for your next fight? Uh, this one. So what would I would do differently from this one to the next one? No, I mean, what have you been doing to get ready for, Oh, I mean, because obviously you haven't been training specifically for this fight, but obviously, you know, you've been training for a fight. So what have you been doing differently? Me? Uh, shoot. When I, when I first started, uh, I cut out, you know, all crap. Uh, I eat a lot of, uh, like my diet is just, you know, a lot of liver. Um, and yeah, I, I usually just eat meat and vegetables. And then, uh, on a, and I just, uh, I, I train a couple times a day, uh, make sure that, you know, pace myself because like I'm the type of person I can go too hard for too long. And then all of a sudden I'm out or I'm not training well for like, you know, a good three, four days. So, you know, just keeping that, uh, pace. This last week, I'm just taking it easy, uh, you know, just sharpening up, you know, reviewing a little bit, and then, yeah, just work out, take care of myself, and make sure that I give myself time to recover. Um, you know, training in a uh, training in a gym like Team Elevation. I mean, what does it mean to be in a gym like that, and uh, how does that improve your game? Man, um, out here in Omaha or in Omaha. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu gym's great, Nebraska Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Um, but the thing was, I didn't feel like I could really go anywhere. Uh, like, my striking game was, like, you know, pretty elementary. And then uh, I came out here and, dude, I mean, like, the people in the room, like, every day you're getting better. Like, people, like, I would show up, you know, early. And then I would, like, you know, and then everybody's just, like, staying late, Um and it's just like, like, I think the difference is for me, like, I get to see, like, this is like these guys' lives, these are these guys' careers. And, you know, seeing that level of dedication, like, helped me bump up a level. And, you know, it's elevated my jiu-jitsu game, my striking game, my fighting game. Like, uh, it's just like, yeah, the room, like, the energy is de definitely, like, feeds right in. And it's, yeah, it's something else. Awesome, man. Um, fearless predictions. How do you see this fight going? Me, uh, I mean, as long as as long as I'm there, I'm gonna win. I mean, <laughs> like, no, you know, not 
you know, taking away anything away from my opponent, Riley, but, uh, no, I'm, as long as I'm there in the cage, I'm going to just wreck him, you know, it's not, yeah. Well, man, thanks for hopping on with us today. Uh, mm-hmm. Be sure to check out Gabriel James fighting on uh, Dynasty Combat Sports this Friday. Catch a live right here in Lime Futures. Futures. All right, man. The last two things I need you to do is just uh, say, this is Dynasty Combat Sports. Okay. Uh, this is Dynasty Combat Sports. And then say, catch me live on MMA Futures. Catch me live on MMA Futures. Cool. All right, man. Well, hey, that's all I need from you. Um, and I appreciate your time. Sweet. No, thank you.